So welcome to another video from theplayersaid.com. My name's Alexander. And I'm Grant. And we're trying a brand new format. So enjoy. I'm very nervous about this. Yes. You'll have to bear with us, because uh, this is the first time we're going to do this. We are recording a playthrough of us just playing a game together. So bringing you guys along for the ride, <coughs> but also playing a game that's new. And we've played this a couple times before. But there'll be some bumps in the road. There'll be some looking up of the rules. We've got the rule books and the plates handy. You'll actually realize what idiots both of us are. Mistakes That's, will be made. Yes. So maybe... So yell them out in the comments. <laughs> yes. Maybe don't use this to learn how to play, <laughs> but you'll be able to get a gauge of what a game of yeah. this looks like, and you get to come along for the journey and the banter. Um, this is a card game. Uh, let me go turn that off. <laughs> <laughs> So we wanted to start it over? No, I can just cut that in. That's no big deal. <laughs> so this is a card game. This is Point Blank V is for Victory from uh, Lock and Load Publishing. Here we have the rule book. This will be out soon. Um, and, and we played this game with the designer, Sean Drulinger. Yes. Uh, in 2017? 2018, I 2018 believe it was, at yeah. WBC. So we played this four years ago. It was a prototype. It's gone through a few different changes from then, but there's a video interview with him uh, and I at WBC on our channel if you want to learn a little bit more about the background of this. But we're kind of going to play through this. Uh, so <coughs> instead of it being Hex Encounters, you have these cards, which are like different squads or leaders, special weapons. There's tanks and armored cars and things like that. Jeeps. And we're going to play through the Dawn at uh, saint Comte du mont scenario. And in this one, the Germans are defending. They are defending this objective crossroads and this objective church over here, which is kind of buried under my units. And there's a, a massive U.S. force, a lot of infantry, a lot of tanks. Uh, they just have to come. The, the objective in this is they have to take the crossroads and there is a black flag and a white flag. So you have to have one of these kind of black flag armored hardpoint units, usually a, a tank or an anti-tank unit. Or a bazooka. Yes. And one of these white flag, which is this kind of a soft target an infantry unit or I think the jeep is a white flag as well. Mm -hmm. So you've got to get one of each kind of different type of unit onto the crossroads to hold it as an objective. And on top of that, they don't have to capture the church, but they have to clean the church out of any units. I can't have any units in here, and they have to have the requisite units on the crossroads to win the game. So that's a lot. The game is four turns long at most. A turn is considered going through the whole deck. So if we have, if by the time we've gone through the deck four times, if he hasn't achieved those, I win. Um, I don't have a whole lot, and there's no reinforcements in this one. So I've got an SS squad with a Panzer Shrek in the Bacage. I've got a 50 millimeter anti-tank gun and a couple of infantry squads. These are second line squads. They're not as good. And a leader all set in this church, which is a four defensive value. It's very good. Uh, the crossroads, I just <laughs> I just have a, a second line squad with an MG42. Uh, there's and not a, a leader. Of, yeah, and a leader. Not a lot of defense there, so I'm not really sure what we're going to do there. And I got my Panzer IV in the brush over here on this side of the board. You going to move that this game? or? Well, if I get some move cards, maybe. Okay. Uh, that's I, a terrible terrain. No, I did not move my tank in the last one. So <laughs> what, have you, what have you got? Well, I, I have, a, as you mentioned, have a whole ton of infantry. Um, they're, regular, they're regular infantry. They're not elite. Um, but I do have three M4A1 tanks. I also have an M8 armored vehicle and a Jeep. Uh, have a radio, which is important because it can call in air, uh, air artillery, yes. offboard artillery. I have several good weapons from a BAR to an M19, okay, you have 19 a bunch machine of gun, weapons and a bunch of leaders, a couple of satchel charges, and I have four total leaders. Yeah. One of which is an armor leader. It, it's going to be interesting. These tanks can basically fire from this distance, but they're not as effective. Yes, uh, and they're firing obviously on the front armor of the enemy tanks, so it's going to be harder to penetrate. So really what i got to do is try to get up a little bit closer, make those attacks count more. The other cool thing about this game is these action cards, and you have this whole deck that Alexander mentioned. This game is 
icon, lots of iconography. Yes. These different actions, you have them on the cards, you can do those actions. Some you can use in different ways, which is very interesting. Some are just crap cards, like this card. Yes. Which is nothing. <laughs> you, you were like, what is this? I'm yeah. like, oh, I've never we seen We didn't before. see that. Yeah. <laughs> that that's, a, that's a hole in your hand. So it, it, it it's very interesting. Every time you move and shoot, you're going to get a fatigue. You can take those fatigues off uh, with a rally or yeah. a, uh, what is that called? The helmet. The uh, ready action. Ready action. So it's a matter of managing this hand, managing your troops, trying to get into firing range. Or yeah. melee range, which... Melee's very brutal and bloody. Melee's going to be very good for me because you don't have a lot of guys. So I, I got to somehow get up. And each time you move, very similar to a game like Upfront that we love and have played many, many times. Yes. You're going to draw a terrain card. <coughs> Sorry. Place it out, and that's going to be different benefits or negatives. Some of them are like streams or marshes or wire. Although I don't think there's any wire in this deck. Uh, I think there, there is. is. I think it's a little bit of yeah. wire in there. So anyway, kind of interesting. You never know what you're going to move into. You can always use a move action, I think, to move kind of laterally in a space yeah, to get you, away from that terrain yeah, and draw move, another terrain. Yeah, you can move within your space as well. So that. there's a lot of neat things about this game. I would say it's similar to Upfront. I think it has some of the same style, uh, although it's a lot, a, a lot different, really. Combat system's very different. Yeah, it's, it's <clears> kind of <throat> like... A, this that was that's a very far fifty year old predecessor. Right. This has come a long way and looks a lot nicer yeah. as well. So US has the first okay. impulse, so you get to go. Well, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spot I'm gonna spot your guy there. Sure. And so. I guess it's important just to note there is like an upkeep phase. Yeah. Nothing happens in that during the first turn because nothing needs right. to be upkept. I'm gonna spot with uh, this infantry here. Okay. I don't want to use my leaders for this. So I'm going to try to spot that unit because currently it's concealed. Indeed it is. And I'm trying to soften them up a little bit so that I can either fire on them or cause him to have to do an action to rehide. And you're considered uh, concealed if your terrain has a defensive modifier. You're right. auto-concealed until you are spotted, and concealment gives you a plus two defensive modifier. So that's pretty significant. So you're going to make a recon check. And I'm going to add... I think I just roll the d6, you and I'm roll, trying... And so you're trying to roll a 4, 5, or a 6, I believe. Yeah. So I pull a card, and it's a 1. So you so do not spot. I do not spot. So that's the other cool thing about these action cards. Very similar to Combat Commander. They have the dice yes. on them. And so I like that. So it's a closed system. Yeah, I like it a lot. It's it's a nice way to do it. So that was your one action for your impulse. Yep. And then you redraw your cards into your hand. Yep. So you fill up to 5 <laughs> action cards. Uh, and then you would kind of do a little, oh, does the game end? Have we gone through that? Nope. There's a little victory check. No. So then it's my turn. I have an upkeep phase. Nothing happens. So then I'm going to play an action card. And I'm going to be playing very defensively this game, I think. So I am going to move my tank, I believe. I think that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to play a move action on my tank so the tank gets a move icon on it and it gains one fatigue and that is my turn and it's going to move kind of next yes it, it, you resolve the move in my next upkeep phase so that he's got considered moving if you were to shoot at him i'm exposing myself it's easier to hit me in that way yeah all right, so my card draws have been garbage here. Yep, and so that's this is, very uh, much a, f a theme of, of the card games. Um, you know, I, I I could just go ahead and call it a radio, just for fun. You could? I'm going to do it, just for fun. All right, so I'm going to play this. So I have to play an attack icon, which that's an attack icon. Indeed it is. I'm going to play it on my radio operator here. Yes. And I am going, there's unlimited range. I just have to have a line of sight. Which you do. I, this is a degrading, but it does is not a blocking. Yeah. So if this was a wall or a building, I'd have to get out in front of it. Oh, yeah, or if it was going through two degradings. Right, then it, so I'm going to go ahead, I think I'm going to spot your tank. And I probably should have spotted the dang thing. I'm just going to do it. So you're going to make a radio check 
to try right. to see if it is even possible. So I'm looking for a four, five, or a six. Preferably a five or a six. Right. If a one is rolled, my radio breaks. <laughs> yes, and we throw it away. So, oh, okay, so I rolled a four. Okay. So my attack value, if you can see this, I had two options, and these are high explosive rounds. If I'd rolled a five or a six, my attack would have been a six. Now it's just a four. So that's going to go off. And it said, when I read it, you use the rear armor value. Yes. So it's not your front armor value. You're using the, you're, so you're going up against the flank armor value. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um. Sorry, this is why we said we're going to have to check some rules. Uh, you did spot this guy, by the way. Oh, okay. It was, you roll, you have to roll low to spot. Right, so I rolled a one. I spotted. Okay. Hey, you spotted. Um, so then should I fire on him? Um, I don't know, that's up to you. I really want to hit the tank because the okay. armor's worse. That's tough, that's fine. Fine by me. Until I draw some moves, this, uh, this is going to be really hard. Yes. So we're dropping the old explosives. So we are firing... I swear we read through these and we're just no, yeah. we're nice. just drawing a blank. This is why I've hesitated about doing these uh, <laughs> recorded plays because once again you realize how uh, long it takes. What am I looking for? I'm okay, ordnance attack, ordnance at infantry, ordnance no. attack. Here we go, right on the ordnance attack. Ironically, it doesn't have a rules. We're doing HE values. Well, there's the radio section. That was 7.12. Okay. Stay with us. <laughs> okay, here we go. AFVs that are attacked by a barrage add their flanking armor to the defense check when resolving a barrage attack. AFV crews may be shaken twice, blah, 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 blah. So you're making a, a barrage attack. <clears throat> and a barrage attack is... Well, infantry, ordnance... Ordnance against if infantry ordnance no Okay. Resolve the attack as a fire attack using the ordnance weapons black circle number. Conduct a D6 check and add the H E value. Okay. So I'm gonna and then you get an armor or penetration check, right? A D6. Yes, yeah, so I'm gonna be a D6 plus my armor. So you're rolling a D6 plus four. Yeah, it's just you a rolled a five. And my flank armor is a three plus six is a nine. So it explodes and nothing happens. And it doesn't say that using a radio gives fatigue. So um, it is an attack though, right? It uses an attack icon. Yeah, I, I guess. I would say. Pretty strenuous to yeah. key the hand mic. So you're saying I should get a. Yeah, for the purposes Fatigue. of this, we'll do one. Well, uh, if, it's, if it's not correct, we don't want to do it. <clears throat> it's correct enough for me. Where is you? Yeah, because you 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 perform an attack with it. Okay. All right. The unit's fatigue levels increased by one after All right. conducting right. a barrage. Yep. Pull a card. Okay, so then at the end of, so it's my upkeep phase, so I, I then resolve this move. Normally, you would pull a terrain card from the terrain deck. Uh, in this scenario, I start with two terrain cards in my hand, so I'm going to choose to play one of those instead. So I'm moving into a stone building. We move into the stone building, and I remove the move counter. So that's the upkeep phase, and then in the action phase, I am going to spend, I'm going to do this 
ready action and we're going to do that to remove this fatigue. Normally with a ready action I could roll a die to see on an on odds I could remove another fatigue. No one else has any so I'm not I'm just going to sk skip that. And so I'm going to draw a card and it is your turn. All right, so I'm going to activate a unit ability with a lightning bolt. So I'm going to do move. So I will put a move on my and it's just that one unit. Yes. If it was a move, I could do... Yeah, an arrow can activate a whole stack of guys that have arrows and can move. So that's oh. that's my turn. That's going to happen next time, so I refill my hand. Okay, I am going to do... Do I have any guys that can spot? Not really. Okay, my SS squad can spot. So let's do that. Um, I am going to attempt to... Sp I don't know why I would do. Well... So, I'm going to use this uh, unit action to trigger the recon. So, I'm going to try <laughs> to spot these guys. So, I need to roll... You're in degrading terrain, so I need to roll a three or less. Which I do. So, they... Everyone in the terrain then becomes spotted. Yep. So I reform my hand. Your turn. So you're going to resolve so I'm gonna the move. move. So I will. Great. <laughs> hey, clear terrain. Yeah. Move right out in the open, tank commander. Nice. So that's that. Now I can. These are really bad cards. Like, seriously. <laughs> well, I'm I'm gonna go ahead and remove, um, use the the ready to okay. remove that fatigue. And you can roll to ready right. the other guy if you wanted to. So I I would roll, and I need a was you it? need odds to odd number. remove evens does not. So no, <laughs> we've never been able we've to never do been that. able to do that after <laughs> like twenty Always times. Evens on those. Okay, I pull my card, and that's my turn. Okay, so I am going to do an attack. This is probably dumb, but I'm going to do it anyway. Uh, I'm going to shoot. So I'm going to use this uh, unit action to perform a fire attack with my Panzer IV. And uh, you don't have to spot me, so you don't get a defensive yes. bonus. So you're out in the open. So I'm going to roll... Uh, <clears throat> To hit, and we we'll, on this card, these the red, yellow, and white are distances. Now the distance between the two of us is one, two, three, four, five. Lateral moves at it's two good. movement points. Forward and backwards is is one movement point. So what I'm going to roll is on the yellow chart. Uh, so I need to roll two d6 and get a seven or less, which is. Actually, pretty bad odds. I shouldn't have done that. Oh well. So I've got a three, four, five. So I hit. And now we're going to roll an opposed penetration. penetration check. So my penetration is a five. And your armor is a five. A five. On the front. Yes, I'm pretty sure it's just the front there, right? Um, and. The armor attacks. Let's just make sure we do this correctly. Okay. 2d6, we hit. That was great. Okay, if the target is hit, locate the penetration number. You take uh, d6 and add my penetration value. And you're going to do a d6 plus your armor value. And it was kind of like, okay. Does my leader also modify? <clears throat> um, good question. I thought he did, but... Uh, it doesn't say... He modifies your Attacks. attack rolls. I don't know if he can oh, modify the thickness of the that. armor. Why not? <laughs> he can lay on front, on top of it, I guess. All right, pull your card. So I'm a... We threw some logs on front. Yes. So yesterday. Uh, the seven was my... <clears throat> to hit this five is my penetration. I'm a five plus four, nine. So I'm a six plus Ugh. five, eleven. Gross. So you bounce the hit... You get a fatigue, by the way. That's true. Uh, Trying to cheat me. Fatigue marker. Trying to cheat me. I gotta cheat watch him all the time. 
So, <clears throat> let's make sure. If the defender's penetration exceeds, it does not. Uh, if the defender's penetration check result equals or exceeds, there's no effect. So nothing happens. You bounce the shot. Yeah. It was fun whilst it lasted. And I refill my hand, and it is your turn. <laughs> yeah, these are really bad. So I can discard this one just to get rid of... Nope, I can just discard a card. I have to do a... So we'll do that one to get rid of that, and I have no other. Yep. So that's it. I'm hoping to draw something better. <laughs> <clears throat> Hopefully. So at this point, I think I would be remiss if I did not move. Which is dangerous, but I'm going to try it. So I'm going to play a move card to move. <laughs> this is so dumb. I'm going to move uh, my line squad with my leader and my MG42. So they are moving. They're easier to hit, correct? <laughs> yes. So I'm going to go ahead and fire. So I'm going to fire on them. Okay. So. One, two, three, we're four, so that's my so, front value, correct? Because I'm a soft target, Yep. you're shooting uh, either your machine guns, Okay. Yeah. Uh, or you could shoot your high explosive. Which is I, the three? I think you can do both. Okay. Well, let's check that. One, two, three, four. So you can, I believe you can. Well, this is only a three. Yes, but he, that doesn't have a range because it's your cannon. The, can, the cannon got has got unlimited okay. range in this game. Yeah, right. Yes. The, the range is the superscript. You, I, yes. You can roll. <clears throat> you can do both. Uh, and you can combine these two. Okay. So you... Oh, gross. This might end very poorly. Well. <laughs> well. So, yes. You are going to roll. So, I've got a... So which numbers am I going to combine? <coughs> my... the, yeah, so you've got your coax machine gun is the two, and yep. your uh, pintle mounted machine gun on top is the so four. So I'm a six plus a one for his leadership value. Yes. So that's a seven, yeah. and I'm firing on a soft target that has... So I've... Yeah, let me uh, let me find the modifiers for this real quick. Yep. Cause... Let's see. Firepower attack... Oh, that stone building's plus terrible. Modifies. So it's modifiers versus infantry. You're plus one because I'm moving. Yep. Uh, and yeah, plus one for the leader. So I'm eight. Uh, infantry, yeah. Uh, gross. Yeah. So I pull 1d6. Yes, 1d6 plus so five. five. That's and, a 13. And I am... A Mr. Defensive modifier. So I'm. I have a terrain modifier of one. <laughs> Do I have any defensive cards? Nice juicy target there. No, I don't have any defensive cards. Yeah, those defensive cards are pretty yeah. cool. So I'm a. I'm a one. Great. One plus. Three is four. So what were you? Thirteen. Oh, I think I'm. Uh, Triple D. In, in very bad shape. Because I think if you if you double me, <laughs> I got tripled you. I think. <laughs> well, that was a very well, fortuitous. Let's, yeah, let's, let's that seems too much, this, Alexander. Yeah. Is that correct? No, no. It's just very well because bad. I have my machine gun and my. Yeah, you're okay. six plus. One for the leader, seven plus you're moving eight, eight plus a five is thirteen. Got you. Yeah. So I tripled you. Well, yeah, we'll we'll <clears> get there because I think I just have to make some checks, but we're gonna okay. The total number of infantry fire, blah, 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 blah. Defending units conducts a defensive ship member, blah, 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 blah. If the defending unit's result is equal to a higher... Okay, so it's a it's a success. Great. Yep. Each defending unit now conducts a D6 damage check, adding the difference between the attack D6 and the defender's D6. So that's a 9. 13 minus 4 is a 9. So, gross. <laughs> so... I'm going to make a D6 check. Yeah, I don't think it's possible for me to pass this. Because you have to roll. I have to roll under, under my morale, which yeah, is a which four. Is, which is a four modified to five. A five. Yeah. <laughs> you, I mean, you have to pull a card. Yes. Oh, I almost. That's as good as I could have rolled. But it's that plus nine we said. Yes. So I fail a check. Yeah. Okay. If the result is exceeded by. Okay. So I'm definitely, I definitely become shaken. If the result is exceeded by double the damage check, 
the unit is shaken and reduced. The result, what? So I was a 13, you rolled a one. If the modified result is less than or equal to the morale of the unit, the offending unit passes, it's check and it's not affected. That's not the case. Yeah. So what was, I'm sorry, what was? The difference was nine. Yes. You pulled nine, a one, ten, ten, plus your. So I, I, this is a ten. Okay. Okay. If the result is exceeding double the damage, is exceeded by double the damage check. The unit is shaken and reduced. So I think 10 is double my morale value, but yeah. not triple my morale value. So I get reduced as well. Okay, so you just flip your card over. Well, it's a separate card. Right. That's right, Matt. Yes. So I am freaking second line. Yeah, these guys suck. So <clears throat> these are, aren't double-sided counters, so you just get re replaced by a half squad. Just killed one of my guys. And I'm shaken. And shaken guys can't move, so. <laughs> yeah. All right, so that's my turn. I, I put my fatigue marker on and I draw a card. Yes. Okay, well, I would normally resolve my move. However, because he's shaken, I don't know if he can follow through. <coughs> Got it. Shaken unit may not conduct a fire or assault action. Shaken units may not perform any recon actions. Shaken units uh, may perform a move, but they may not move closer to an enemy unit. Great, so he's just gonna not do anything then. So this is just gonna go away. That was kind of just a wasted thing. That's very bad. Well, you got ping disease. <clears throat> well, I was trying to get myself into some very good terrain. Yeah. <laughs> and that would also block line of sight from incoming attacks. Was the other thought of that. Um, well, not good. It was good for me. Yes, that was that was very bad. But you know. Lessons were learned. I don't know if that's true, but yeah, I'm going to pretend that they were learned. Like I'm going to do uh, the old... I can't even... I, I can't get rally cards for one of them, as opposed <coughs> to the last game where that's all I have. Right. Uh, however, my leader can... He does have that action on him. Nice. So I can... You just have to tap him. I think... Yes. Do you have to... Do you have to spend a card? Uh, I don't remember that part of it. Mm. We didn't. We did uh, that. We did that once last game, but I don't remember. Yeah. Um, leader actions. Play leader actions. Leader actions may be played in addition to the playing of an action card or spend action. They're executed as needed during your play impulse by road. You do. So you just tap them. Okay. So I'm gonna spend him to a <laughs> to attempt. A rally action. To get that shaken off. To try to get the shaken off, yeah. Do you have to discard a card, though? Did we decide? Um, no. Okay. But, oh, for the leader. But right. you can do a, a separate action as well. So we're going to okay. attempt that. i got to make a roll. And the roll, I think, is like a 50 50. Isn't it stupid? 50 50. That's because, what I like to hear. Okay, yeah. Rallying units in the game. Da, 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 da. You may subtract the leadership of any one leader accompanying the stack, which is the case if the leader itself. No, shaking leaders may not apply the modifier for any morale check. No. Once. Oh, I think they're she. No. Once a rally action has been played, a player may select a 2d6 check. If the two, if a combined total is equal to or lower than the printed morale, they are rallied. My goodness. So I have to roll a 5 on 2d6. A 5 or less on 2d6. Sure. Yeah. It's possible. It it's possible. It's not probable. Ooh. Yeah. Well, you're gonna get it. Oh, it was close. So I. So it uh, fails. That part fails. Am I gonna take a regular action anyway? So Private Fritz decided. Nope. Not listening there, to you, uh, no. Sergeant Fisher. Uh, not not happening there. Um. Yeah, I'll just do. I'll just remove the fatigue from my pants for. Oh, so you can do a rally and remove that? I can, you can do a leader action and a regular oh, okay. action. All right. So I think I'm done. That was awful. Appreciate your cheating, Miss. You are welcome. <laughs> All right, I'm going to move these two dudes. Okay. So they're getting move markers. Yeah, and once again, when you play a move action, you can move a whole stack. Yep. 
So there we go. I draw a card. And maybe some fatigue on them also. Yeah, it's after they move though, right? Right. They've got the move action, so then they do it. Um, <clears throat> all right. I will... I mean, do I attempt that again? Probably, yeah. Well, that guy's tapped, so how does he become untapped, your leader? Um, he will untap uh, during my upkeep phase. Okay. So that's right now. Um, so I could keep trying that. Can you just do one leader action per turn? Yes, I believe so. But I will double check. So I'm going <laughs> to... I haven't learned my lesson. Yeah. So I'm going to do another move. I so like I'm, it. I'm going to move with just this second line squad. I like it. Sacrificial lamb. And then I will... Att rally again. I will attempt to rally. You have to roll. <laughs> what is it? Five or less? less? Oh, I'm going to do it. Yeah, potentially. Oh, All I right. did it. Okay. Amazing. Great. So that just, he's not shaking anymore. You can't ever rally yourself from a half squad to a full squad. Yeah. But if you have two half squads, you can combine them into one. But at least right. he's not shaking anymore. If you're shaking, you can't shoot or do anything useful. Right. Okay, so <laughs> he's got zero fights. Yeah, right. well, he's got a machine gun on him. <laughs> yeah, that's, 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 that's his only saving grace. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, I am done. Okay, so these guys are moving. Yep. I get to draw one. Terrain card. Ooh. A stone wall. So they're lining up behind it. Yeah. Leave that wood building behind. Yeah, I'd like to drag that <laughs> along with me. So that's that. Now I can do an action. I wish I had some more movements. <clears throat> so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to rally. I'm going to remove this fatigue with that leader. Two. All right, I think. Dang it. Really want to move an infantry squad up. So I'm going to go ahead and activate his. Uh... This is a little. So he's going to. I'm sorry. Got to put a move marker on him. Yep. Doing a movement, so that'll be next turn. Okay, so that's just, that. Oh yeah, it's just the one guy, huh? Yeah. So then I will draw my card. Oh man, what do you do? What do you do? You take another pot shot that depends a four. So I'll do a fire attack. <clears throat> uh, you, let's, do I? Where's any fatigue markers? Yeah. Yeah, I'm Ooh. gonna get killed by that guy. I just can't. Okay. To move him. So same thing, range five, so I've got to roll a seven or less to hit. Two, three. Oh, extremely low roll. So I hit, and then we're going to do our opposed penetration checks. So I'm a d6 plus five. I rolled six. And I'm a... And you're a, f <laughs> you're a five. Plus. Five plus one So you could roll... Leader. No, he doesn't add a... He Not doesn't add armor. No. So. Oh, Tied. that was that was cruel. Yeah. So it tied. Yeah. No, no effect. You could have rolled one of those stupid blank cards, but... Did you add a fatigue for that guy? Uh, yes, I just put that one on him. Okay. Just and making sure, keeping you honest. Uh, I'm done. All right. Oh, I should have... Sorry. I was supposed to have moved this guy from last turn in my upkeep phase. I was too hasty. I apologize. Uh, he's moving into a wood building. And we remove that fatigue mark. So that's all of the... I don't have any more terrain in my hand. It was just those two that I stopped doing. So if I do that attack again with the radio on this guy, I'm now going to have to get through the... The building is plus four for a defensive modifier. But yeah. him being concealed doesn't add a plus two modifier to his defense? Uh, he is concealed. This guy would upkeep. I guess i got to do my move. Sorry. I'm going to yeah. move this guy forward. He gets his fatigue on him. Infantry squad. If I could get some movement cards, it might uh, might help me a little bit. But yeah, I'm not gonna. I'm, I'm not gonna do it. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do a rally on these guys. So I'll move one automatically and then I'm looking for a 
an odd number to get the second. Dang it. It's ridiculous. And I'm done. That's my turn. Okay, I am going to <laughs> make sure I'll untap this guy. Great. Um, you know what? I, I could have done... Could you have rolled? Or... Well, I could get a I could get a, a spot. Can I do that? You okay with that? That leader gets oh, yeah, a spot. Oh, no, yeah, no, sure. Yeah. So I'm going to try to spot him. Sure. So this is blocking terrain, so you got to roll a two or less. Right. It's pretty hard, but um, I don't modify it by anything, do I? Nope. Okay, it's a six. That was a free leader action. Yes. So. so I am going to weep. <sighs> well, that's pretty spicy. <coughs> what are we? What are we doing here, people? Um, you nerds are out in the open, aren't you? Yeah, I, I can't. I can't get the heck out of there. So I am going to. So I'm going to spend this to do a unit action with these guys. So I'm going to I'm going to shoot. So I'm shooting at a whopping th three. three plus one for the leader four. So I'm a four, and I'm shooting these guys, obviously. Mm -hmm. uh, who? Yes. So if you wish to play yeah, uh, defensive, defensive time, cards, you can. Nope, I don't. Okay. So I'm a three plus six is a nine. That's pretty good. Of course. And I pulled a five, and I can't remember what I add. Um, I don't think you add anything. It's trying to get under my morale, right? So now, because I succeeded, you're now going to make that check. So, um, yes. Do, 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 do. Yes. So now you conduct a damage check. So now you're trying to roll under your morale. Uh, I rolled a four. <laughs> adding the damage check modifier. So the difference between our damage rolls was what? I had a nine. Uh, nine and a... I had a nine and you had a five. Yeah. So four. So you rolled an eight, which fails. So they become shaken. I am fatigued. This. I've got a big stack of fatigue markers here. Come on. <laughs> That's them. I, I can't draw any move cards. So that was kind of ridiculous. I am finished. Your turn. Okay. Yeah, I don't think I can do anything else meaningful. <coughs> he untaps. Yes. No movements to conduct. No. So can this guy do a rally only on a tank unit because he's an armor leader? Um, he, I, ooh, that's a good question. I know he has to be with armor. Let's have a look at our little armor bonuses. I, probably, if I had to guess. Only provide modifiers to AFV units. All, All right. leaders may only stack. Leaders and armor. Leaders and armor. So I'm going to attempt to do a rally then on this guy to get rid of the shaken. So I just have to roll under. My morale is a six. So, okay, so apparently you do have to spend a card to do that. To do what? To use a leader. Okay. Leaders may conduct a spend action to execute one of the two actions printed on their cards. I will have spent a card last time okay. when I did it. Once spent, they cannot use modifiers for future actions until they're readied, which is next turn. Okay. And I can't do that. See, so yeah, I'm just doing a rally a rally check here on my... So he has a six morale. Uh, so I think it's 2d6. Two, two D, two D I have to roll under a six. Of course I didn't. Ridiculous. All right, um, what can I do? So, and and this could be done on. It's it has to be in, in that space. With. Okay. 
All right, well, I can't do anything. Then I just draw two cards. Oh, a waste of a turn. Okay, so I am going to um, ready some guys, I think. So I'm going to play this to ready my pans of four. And then I will roll to see if I can ready one other guy. Which I can. And I will ready... Let's see. I did play good last time. So I am done. I'm going to go ahead and call in the radio here. And I'm going to attack. Let's see. I'll attack the guy at the crossroads. Okay. So I'm going to pull a, a D, a six. Yes, to see if you hit. Yeah, I miss. You miss. But if the radio does not break. And I could do a leader action if I wanted. None of those are good, though. Oh, you know what? That has to be in his group. Yep. Um, all right, I'll just not draw my card. I am going to make sure I don't have any upkeep stuff to do. I do not. <coughs> um, so I would, I believe. Not a ton of options here. I will attempt, I'm going to ready this guy. That's what I'm going to do. All right. I'll activate his action to move there. Okay. Uh, the, the tank man. And then I can, can discard... I do that. I discard a card to spot. I'll spot the tank there. Okay. Do all this. That's pretty. And it's on just 1d6. Yeah. Forget it. Okay, so I get to draw two cards. If I don't get some better cards, I'm going to scream. I will not do anything in my upkeep phase. I'm going to spend a unit action to fire on your moving tank. Check with the play aid here. Ordnance attack just to hit based on modifiers. Okay, cool. So I'm going to shoot. Still at range five, right? One, two, three, four, five. So I have to get a seven or less. Not a good start. Not a good finish. I miss horribly. Fatigue. Uh, fatigue. Fatigue. And I will do this. All right. <clears throat> this guy moves. I draw terrain. Gosh. <laughs> That's brutal. No cards are going my way, frankly. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do his ability to get rid of that. I have to discard a card to do that. That one. We're almost through the first round. fire with my M4. So I am firing on the one, two. So I'm a four. So because I'm only range four, I'm an eight now, right? 
Uh, one, two, two three, three, four. four. So you're still on the yellow. Yellow. So red is one and two range. Yellow is three, four, and five ah, that's range. Right. That's White right. is six plus. Okay. So I'm a six plus one for the leader. I'm a seven. Um, I have to roll. So 2d6 and you got to roll under six. Okay, I got a six. Well, six or under. Okay. Six or under. But now we do oppose so, well, penetration. Yeah, you needed to roll a seven or under, basically. So yes. So yes. Uh, so you're going to roll uh, a d6 plus three. Okay. <laughs> six. And then my front armor is a four plus... Five is nine, so I bounced the hit. And and why doesn't the building help you out at all? Uh, it probably did in the regular okay. attack. Okay, well, we missed anyway, yeah. probably, so <laughs> okay. we screwed up. All right, I'll draw two. My turn's over. I don't think I want to do any of those. Um, nah. So I'm going to do... I don't, I don't know. Have you drawn any moves this entire game? I yeah, literally have yeah. drawn no I, I've, moves. I've, draw, I've drawn three, One move. I think. Okay. One, two, three. This guy messed up. <laughs> um, I'm going to... Um, for fun, I'm going to attempt something that's never been attempted before. Okay. I'm going to do a sniper attack. Ooh. Uh... They don't have to spot units that are targets. Snipers do not receive a concealment defensive bonus. So I should do it against someone who's in hard terrain, huh? Yeah. I don't know if I care that much. I'll just target one of these guys. Or I could kill this guy. I'll just shoot one of these guys. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, um... First, we randomly determine which of these targets it will be. One that ability. The player may target one of these. And is a, does a lead account as one of them? No, leaders can't be shaken. It's not within one sector, so I don't think I can use my ability. Oh yeah, you got that sniper. But it's oh, that's when you, that's when you. Play I get them. to determine. Yes. yes. No, it. I I think. I think it's like my leader decides. If sniper action is played, doesn't say by me anywhere on the battlefield. This action may determine the target within that sector. I. That's probably shortening, but because okay. elite is going to spot for a sniper, right? You say kill that guy. He's, you're not going to say I'll kill. Private Jones over there, of your own guys. Okay. We'll check that here in a second. But uh, we're going to randomly determine which one of these three stacks it attacks. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. What a five. So it's this squad here. And then we make a 2d6 attack against that stack, who gained no defensive terrain bonus. But I think they do still get a concealment bonus. Okay. Uh, units in blocking terrain may subtract... Oh, sorry. Okay. 2d6. So I'm going to roll 2d6. And in this scenario, the Germans roll a plus one for their snipers. Oh, no. Uh, so four, I got about five. And so, <laughs> so bad. So this guy is going to roll. Uh, do, 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 do. He's going to roll a d6. Okay. I pulled a two. Oh wow, I may have done it. Units do not receive a concealment defensive bonus. So you don't get the concealment bonus, but you do get this bonus. So you're a three. And miraculously, somehow I still hit with a five, so the difference is two, if I'm correct. So you're gonna make a morale check of plus two. At plus two? Yeah, so 2d6 plus two, and you got to roll a six or less. Oh, that's, 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 that's the discard. Off the discard pile. <laughs> no. Okay, that's, so Fair. you've got ten. Yep, six and four is ten. So he's probably shaking. Eleven, twelve, because of the difference between the attacks, which is double your morale. So he's shaken, and he's a half squad. Uh, 
And then, oops. so then, uh, we just see what happens with this guy. Because the, the snipers don't necessarily stick around. So we're going to roll a d6. And I rolled a 6. Which is hilarious. On a 1 or a 2, you remove the card from the game. On a 3 through 5, it gets discarded. On a 6, which is what I rolled, you shuffle the sniper card into the action deck as long as there's not 6 or fewer cards in there. Basically. Okay. If there's a sniper a few is more removed. Than six. Yeah. A few more. It just means more snipers will come up at some Sure. So that was a sniper action. Never seen that before. That was something. Um, so I've got four cards. I will draw one more, and it is the end of my turn. Hmm. <laughs> so when these guys attack together, I choose the lead unit, right? Yes. I, I just don't remember yes. how that works. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to do an assault. So they move and attack. Yes. I don't know if it's the same as a normal move, so they put the move markers and... Yes, they put the move markers down. <coughs> oh, is... Was there assault markers? No. Okay, let's have a quick gander. We did that once. Assault. Okay. You move. And a fire action. So the units conducting an assault are first marked with a move in the direction they're assaulting. All units conducting the same assault action got to move together. Does it have to be adjacent? I thought it was. They have to, they have to move into the same space. Right, right. Yes. Uh, must move together in the same direction as they marked. Is moved along with any covered arc changes, which is not what we're doing right now. They may fire the eligible target within range and elements. If he's conducting an assault, a uh, plus two <laughs> to hit. Right, because it's. Okay. So they, they will still move next turn, but they can shoot. Then they can shoot. As per usual. Next turn. No, no, they shoot now. They shoot now. Yes. Okay. So I'm going to fire on this guy. So we're doing uh, all the machine guns. Um, you know what? I, I, if you allow me, I'd like to do a spot before oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I do that. I just I can't remember all this crap. Um, I think I'm going to get rid of that one. So this is blocking terrain, so you've got to get a two or less. That's impossible. Two. Two. Did it. So I am spotted. spotted, which means I don't get uh, the, plus two the cover inherent bonus. kind of plus two. I don't remember where the spot markers were. Um, they're on the back of one of these. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. Uh, so yes. Okay, so then they move and they're, they're firing. So yes, they're going to fire. And we're firing their machine guns. So when they're firing together... It's a fire group, right? Yes. Okay, sorry. Yes. <laughs> uh, blah, 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 blah. Let's have a little look. <laughs> Is it move to action? Okay. Um, when an ordnance weapon... Oh, no. If it's with a number within the red triangle, it can only fire within... Like, yeah. da, 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 da. Infantry. Inf AFEs may not combine. Uh, so they can't shoot together. I'd have to shoot other AFEs them. to conduct a fire attack, but may fire separately. Okay. At a different unit than what is being targeted. Hmm. It's being targeted by other units by that sector. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. So one of them can shoot these well, guys. I'll, I'll do one, my best guy. The other one could shoot someone else if yeah. he's got range. So. So it's three. So I'm in the middle still, right? So I'm a soft target. You're shooting your machine right. guns. So it's six. No, I'm, I'm just doing the two? No, you can do both. So it's six. Yep. All right, so six plus my six, six. plus a die roll. Seven. Seven. And you are also... I have two fatigue. Yes, which gives a negative modifier. Well, the, the second one shows up after you complete the action, right? That's sure. what I thought. I think it does. Yeah. yeah. 
We always just put it on, but it's after you move. Yes. Yes, I believe that, that is the case. <laughs> and then, so I'm a three. Don't have a concealment bonus, but I do have a little shield in my jigger. So I'm a five. D6 plus five. Come on. Four. So I'm a nine. Okay. Okay, so then this guy, same mm. six against that guy. So I pull a. Six plus five is eleven. Oh, he has fired a different target. Yes, it has to be a different target. Yes. Um, I'll just fire at that guy. It's still in the same area, right? So one, two, one, two, two three, three, four, five, six. Yep. Okay, so I I pull the five. Okay. Five. Six and five is eleven. <laughs> You're spotted, but you do have a one yeah, cover bonus. One plus five is six. So I've got to make a check, and the difference is five. <coughs> so I'm. T yeah. Oh, oh goodness. <laughs> That's so bad. So <laughs> That's a seventeen. Seventeen. <laughs> and you had to get under a four. I had to get under a five. five. I got a leader. So I'm. <laughs> I'm very sure that I'm dead. Because okay. I think I'm shaken and, and then reduced, reduced which el eliminates me. Okay. Um, so this guy's definitely dead. Let's see <laughs> if anything happens to the leader. I right. can't remember if he dies as well. That was just awful. <coughs> that was pretty bad. <laughs> Boxcars. Ugh, yeah. Let's Come on. Still with us? <laughs> It can be painstaking when we have to go back and forth yes. to the rules. The player aids are good, but there's only no, there's only one set of them. One set. Two. We probably just need to make copies of it and each have one. Uh, yeah, that's fine. I'm definitely dead. What about me leaders? How do leaders get killed? They get shot. They do. And this would be the perfect instance where they would get shot, just lying down in the open on a crossroads whilst the Sherman rolls up. Da -da 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 -da. Really would have liked that roll here on, on those guys. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I'm probably just going to kill him because I can't find it. Okay. And, and uh, I don't, yeah, I'm pretty sure he doesn't have a move action, so we can't like move independently right. and go and attack somewhere. So okay. We'll just, we'll just kill him. Oh, we need to, we need to verify that rule though, just for next time. Yeah. All right. So I'm, I'm done. I've done every, I've done my leader actions. I draw two cards. Ugh, gross. Um, I am going to do that's less good than that. Hmm. Like a wood building or stone building. So I think I'm gonna is that what I'm going to do? No. I'm going to discard a card to ready this guy. That's what I'm doing. Okay, so I get my leader. Come on, man. So then these guys move. So I pull. <laughs> it's not clear. <laughs> I just keep charging into the open. Oh. Supposed to make a bog check in the stone wall. Huh? Oh, okay. Uh, uh, All right, we'll wait. Next time. All right. <laughs> so it's stone wall, woods. Anything with a defensive modifier. Okay. Error number 147. Yeah. <laughs> I should have done it also, I think. Got it. All right. So I think I'm going to. I'm going to try to recover these guys. So I'll recover him. Yep. Then I'm looking for an odd. 
It isn't even. It never happened. <laughs> um, I want to kind of do something. Give me a second. So I'm going to go ahead and try to rally this guy. It doesn't really matter, but... Sure. i got to keep asking myself, why would I want to do that? Because it... It's just shortening the game, right? That's the, that's the old. Because it doesn't really matter. Yeah, that actually hurts you if you think about yeah, it that way. I don't think I'm going to do it. I'm not sure these guys are going to pay play that much of a role. So I think I'm I'm good. Just going to draw a card, and that's my turn. Okay. Uh, I don't have any to do with my upkeep phase, except for shoot at your tank. No. Um. All right. I can't. One, two, three, four. That's a bonus for the life of me. We're doing four. Which means I'm still on that middle row. So I've got to roll 2d6 and I need a 7. 2d6, I need a 7 or less. Oh, I've rolled box cars and I just rolled snake eyes. Incredible. So I hit. Unfortunately, I've wasted my good rolls on my. Okay. So to hit, I am a 5 plus 1. <laughs> then I'm a, ah! I'm a 5. Plus a four. Yeah. I'm good. Great. Well done. <laughs> Way to hang in there, Sergeant Clark. You're doing yeoman's work there. Ugh. Okay. And. <clears throat> it's really hard to shoot this guy, isn't it? Yep. It's really hard. Well, I'm mean, first <laughs> well, off. I'm doing it anyway. Yeah, I'm going to do this. So I'm going to remove yep. this, and I have to discard a card. Let me pick. Let me pick a piece of garbage to discard. Got plenty of them. Not a terrible one. Yeah, that's a good one. Um, I'm gonna move. I like it. Yeah, you're gonna fire at me. <laughs> I gotta get out of that freaking. Oh, speaking of which, there we go. All right, that's my turn. Okay, finally. I do need to shoot you, don't I? Yeah, I mean, you, you should be shooting me every time. Fortunately, I... Yeah, so let's do Unless this. you don't have it. I'll take another punch shot. You're not going to roll boxcars every time. No, so I'm going to roll to hit, which I do. I needed a seven or less. And now I'm a five plus. A six, that's what we're looking for. An eleven. And I'm a five minus one because I'm moving four. I can't. So, nine... Yes. So now, so I penetrate. <coughs> Probably should have looked at what happens. Uh, if the defender's armor defense check is less than my penetration, the target is destroyed. Oh wow! <laughs> Replace the targeted AFE with a wreck card. And oh. he's dead. In my brain, I thought there were steps or shaken, but nope, you just blow them up. Wow, that was wild. Oh no. <laughs> okay. Jeez. The terrain and wreck remain in the current sector. So I think you now can get a plus one. Yeah, but like it's that's... got a terrain modifier. But I think it's in addition to what's there. So, okay. Well, that was right. that was something. So are you done? I believe so. And I'm up to two fatigue now, though. The tanks could move more than just one. <laughs> it's really garbage. Yes. And I can't. I can't move those guys again. I kind of have to, but I kind of hosed myself on that, huh? Hmm. Oh well. Sorry, just trying to decide what I'm doing I here. Know. What is uh what's that symbol? I've got to remember. Oh, wind. I don't know what one is. No, it's not. No. 
Oh, is it the uh, it, flank symbol? Yeah, it's the two arrows. Where's that one at? Um, so you can use it to... One. Yeah. So you're going to play that, and you're going to roll a morale check. Uh -huh. And if you pass, you get a little flanking counter. And flanking gets you uh, a, a bonus to attack. You basically found an advantageous position to attack someone, but it has to be someone within the same uh, okay. sector. Can't, yeah, it's kind of an abstraction. Okay. Well, man, I just, I'm not getting the cards that I need at all. Very frustrating. You can always do your once a game, throw your whole hand away. Yeah, I think, well, I've got some move cards. I just... <laughs> Just doesn't benefit me to move these guys up. Right. Really doesn't. And then moving these guys, you start getting double fatigued. Yeah, I'm gonna move these guys then. So they've all got moves, and so your turn. Okay. I will ditch a card to remove one fatigue, and I'm gonna do. Uh, you're spotted. <laughs> I just draw one card. Who's your turn? Okay. <laughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> Brush. <clears throat> Does the spot marker go away when I move? Yes, yeah, they're no so longer thought... spotted. They're now in different terrain. I have to spot them again. Brush. Even though it's the same terrain. <laughs> same thing. Okay, they moved. So I'm going to go ahead and do a rally. Right, so I will remove one. Mm -hmm. Actually, I will remove one, and then I'll pull and see. Hey, hey that's odd. Hey. <clears throat> All right, do I want to do any of my leader abilities. I didn't. I have to if to get. A, I have to roll a two, right? A two or less to spot that guy. It's yep. just impossible. Um, I think I'm just gonna stick with what I got. That's so why I just drew the last card. Okay. So that ends the first turn, right? Uh, yes, it does, I believe, if there's none left. Or is it when you draw one? <coughs> like when you have to draw one? Uh, yeah, let's just that double sounds check real quick. Correct. Yeah, check to see if the action card has been exhausted. Ah, and it has been. So yes, we do do it now. Okay. So remove all spotted markers from all units in play. It's just the passage of time. Any units that are spent are now readied, so everyone gets readied if they were unspent. All units in play may reduce fatigue by one level. That's a boon. Yeah, that sucks. That's all your fatigue markers go away. Any blaze markers on the terrain that are active in the game are removed and replaced with smoke markers. After D6 resolutions are complete, remove all smoke marker cards. Don't have any. Update turn marker end game. Great, that's turn two. And uh, that was your turn, right? So it's my turn? Yep. Okay. So I, th I shuffled those cards so they benefit me. Oh, you go for sure. I, I really could tell how many I'm going to need, so that this is going to be my best turn right here. Um, well, You're going to die. I'm, I'm, I'm doing a whole lot, not much at this point, frankly. So I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to move. Awfully risky. All right, I'm gonna go ahead. You done? Uh, I need to draw a card, but yes. I'm gonna call it in. Uh, artillery. On you. Okay. So roll a d6 to see if it happens. What do I have to roll again? You need to roll a four, five, or a six. All right. So a six. So nice. I get the higher number. You do. So I get a six. So you are going to roll. I believe, uh, yeah, let's, wow, we've done this a hundred times already, and I still can't remember. Yeah. We're like that. Yeah. 
Determined to hit of the ordnance weapon, conduct a 2d6 check, add any defensive terrain modifiers to the check, and subtract any attacker modifiers to the check. No, that's not, that's not what we're doing, sorry. Okay. Uh, I was just reading it. Might as well have AG values for all day. Identify the... no... okay. Yeah, it's on target, it hit already. So you're gonna roll a d6 plus your he value. And you're moving, does that count? This uh, is just a hit. No, 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 you it, you already hit. All right, so like I, six and a four is a ten. Okay, six and a four is a ten. The defender now conducts a d6 check and compares it to the ordnance weapon's d6 plus he result. So you have to get over a ten. Well, if I was infantry, so I, I do I get my flank armor. Ugh, we have a lot of freaking four. Okay. Okay. If the damage check result is less than or equal to the Okay. Okay. It's higher. Yes. So you hit. Okay. Good gracious. You had a ten, you said? Yep. And I had a freaking four. Four. Gross. So, conduct a d6 damage check and add the difference. So, my damage check is... <laughs> five, 11. 5 and 11. My morale is a 6. So, I... Explode. Um, no, because because your HE and not armor piercing, I just become shaken. As my crew are like, um, we're gonna be able. So I have to unshake those guys somehow. Okay, great. So I want to. So I did my fire here. <coughs> Could probably do one of my abilities. No, I'll just pass. And I'm pretty sure I now have to cancel my move because a shaken guy can't go closer to the enemy. And I'm pretty sure that move just makes me closer to the enemy. So I think I just don't do anything. You can move out of that stone building. I can't, though. But I think it would be better. Yeah, unfortunately the rules don't agree. Okay. Uh, that stone building's on fire. I don't know how, it's, but it's on fire. I'm going to just try to unshake myself. I think it's the only thing I can do. So I've got to roll 2d6 and I've got to roll a 6 or less, which I do. So I'm not shaking anymore. My crew mounts it's back. so up. hard to do anything to those guys. I'm really sure done. I can... Alright, my turn. <clears throat> All right, so I figure out why I put all my bazookas over there. All right, so I'm gonna move this whole group. These dudes. Yeah. Yeah, I uh, I was thinking to myself, why did I put my anti tank gun here and then yeah. put a building in front of it so it can't shoot? <laughs> well. You set up first, right? <clears throat> yeah. So it, yeah, but still, yeah. I totally understand. They can cover this, but I'm like, oh, I can't shoot yeah. this guy's name. All right, I'm just going to grab a card. I'm done. So I am going to just pitch a card to remove a fatigue, and I'm done. That just seems too easy. Guys, move into worse terrain. That's par for the course. You love to see it. Yep. 
you're like digging the stone buildings out of there. I'm getting the <laughs> crappy clear garbage. Uh, unfortunately, I lost uh, my MG42, so I can't, I can't do anything against yeah, those. I'm just going to do fire here. All right. So I'm actually going to fire this guy against you. Right? So I would use my... This is six would... range away. One, oh, okay. two, three, four, five, five six. six. yeah. I'll just fire here on these guys then. Okay. So this guy will fire. He's a six. Yep. Do I do 2d6 or 1d6? This This is 1d6. Okay. So eight. Eight. Garbage. And I am a three, four, five for concealed. Six. That's not under your morale. No, but it's equal. So... It doesn't do anything. Okay. Well, four and two is six. I'm firing everything. Oh, you're a seven. Yeah, eight. sorry. Sorry. Eight. You're an eight. So, yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. So, the difference is two. Now I got to make me morale check. Yes. So, I am 2d6 plus two. So, I'm five, six, seven, eight, which is double my morale. So, I am shaken and I become half squatted. Okay. And then I get fatigue. That sorry, I didn't do that. Not good. These guys suck. Yeah, morale is very important for that reason alone. Um, Those chumps. I mean, I can't fire on that, you know, right? It said yeah, you it was, can't they combine, you have fire to fire separate guys. Which and this is, is blocking terrain, so I can't fire against yeah, you there. Yeah, can't fire beyond those. It's very far away. One, two, three, four, five. I don't know if this blocks that, though. I would think it does, <clears> but I don't know. Yeah, it might it might will do. I got a bunch of examples here. Uh, da, 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 da. You know what? I'm not gonna fire with this second guy. It's just a waste. Okay, that's fine. So I just activated that unit. Sure. That's just a waste. I don't want to waste my. Oh, you moron! Yeah, you an idiot. That's okay. <laughs> uh. I'm going to move me tank one more time. Or try at least. Well, excuse me. Okay. I just don't have any anti tank no. stuff. This is supposed to be over here. I'm going to move my wreck. <laughs> <laughs> um. Well, I'm going to rally these guys. So that's a one, and then I see... So that's a ready That's a ready action. This is a rally. Oh, what am I doing? You need the helmet. I have the, I have the helmet. There we go. So, and then this is... A three. So I will... All right. That was kind of a waste, but... Okay. Um... <coughs> So I, I'm just looking at my leader action, sorry. Do, do, do. I'm not going to do anything, I'm done. What are we going to be? Um, sure I could. I don't know if, if it's a good way to get uh, rid of crap just, cards, right? Well, I, I don't know that I have that crap of cards, but... So I'll do a recon here. Or actually, I'll do a recon here. Sure. So I pull a card. Yeah, you got him. Got it too. So he spotted... And then I have to draw one one more card, so I'm good. <clears throat> um, so I have to move this dude, and he's going to move into... Rush. Okay. <coughs> and then we will... One, two, three, four. Oh, shoot. We are going to shoot. Let's blow the M8 out of the way. So it's fewer machine guns. So we are one, two, three, four. So we're still on that middle line, which is pretty gross. So I've got to roll a seven or less. Not 
possible anymore. Uh, okay, great. I miss. Okay. Not bad. So I could fire on you now because you're one, two, three, you're four away. One, two, three, four, yeah. I'll go ahead and I'll activate this guy. I throw a fatigue, so he's a two fatigue now. Mm -hmm. That's not great. I'm gonna fire on this guy. I know that's probably stupid, but I yeah. Let me think about that. So over here, one, two, three. That's a four. So I'm. So you'd be rolling the the middle. Yeah, the yellow numbers. So how, do I have to be a two or closer to get the other one? Yes. The better number? Yeah. <sighs> Wish I had a freaking assault. That was Mike, sorry. I may do something different. I'm gonna go ahead and move these guys. It's just I like it. So rough. I like it a lot. So there, I don't know where the movement markers are. That's it. All right. <laughs> the disco pile's falling on them. All right. Done. Done. So I will probably just ready a dude here. And I will flip to see if I can ready another one, which I can. And, uh, so you can do the same guy twice? Yeah. That's lame. <clears throat> All right. So I. How many leaders that I wish to do that? <laughs> the bog. <laughs> yeah. That's, That's going to kill them if they fail that. Checks real quick. Um, the old. Oh, damn it, I should have done the same thing as well. I'm going to roll one for the little terrain that I'm into. I think it's on the mega, this one. Sorry. No, nope, it is not. The bog check? Yeah, they're on here somewhere. I don't know if anybody's still watching or with us, but <laughs> told you it'd be boring. Oh, block check. Here we go. Uh, okay. So this is blocking line of sight, and you so you have to roll them separately. Um, he bogs on this. a one, two, or three. I had to play my movement. Yes. yes. I had it in my hand. I'm just holding on to it. Say that again. So you're playing a move, so you don't know what that is technically, right? You were I, I was... I was doing it from last time. Remember, I moved last time. Oh. That's why I didn't play a card. I played a move last time. I removed my move marker because I was moving in this side. Okay, okay. It's the next round. You had You just rallied your guy. Yes. So I'm moving okay. in. So now i got to do a bog roll. Yes. So this guy... And you, you're going to have to do a bog roll also. Yeah, yeah. I'll, we'll go back to that one here in a second. So <clears> you're going to have to... For the wheeled guy, he bogs on a one, two, or three. So six. So he is fine. Okay. And this guy bogs on a one or a two. Yeah. So he bogs. Bull crap. Do they get in the site? Yeah, yeah. They, they move in, but he's, yeah, he's bogged, gone. which... Killed. Does something. And then I've got to roll... This is degrading terrain, so I bog on a one, which I do not bog. Okay. Um, yeah, so if you're bogged... Uh, it's plus two to hit... And yeah. minus two for you shooting out. So I moved in, so it's now my turn. Yeah, that's the upkeep phase. So, so I can do... Your action. I can try to unbog him, right? How do I unbog? Uh, good question. You need to conduct a ready action. Which is this one. Yes. Okay. Uh, so you can do it on both of them, right? I guess, yeah. Um... So, and they got to do it separately because they're different types. Well, he's bogged. He's not bogged. Oh, yeah. Doi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, he's tracked. There's <laughs> there's no mods. You successfully unbog on a 3, 4, 5, or 6. 6. Yeah, so, he's not bogged. Anymore. He's not going to be smoked. <laughs> not yet. And then this guy just gets recovered, right? Um, or is it just... You, you do one or the other. Well, I would have to... I would do this to see if it's an odd. No, so you okay. do an unbog check okay. instead so that's of. A, All right, yeah. so I'm done. I gotta see about my leaders. If I want to. 
Hmm. Do any leader actions. I'm moving the map a lot right now. That's okay. Um, I don't think I do. I'll just draw one card. And you got to do a bog check. I did, and I passed. Okay. He only bogs on a one. Got it. Um, it's the same because of distance. So you're in some pretty beefy terrain. Well, that's the best terrain I've ever been in. Yeah. <laughs> but I got to shoot you anyway. <sighs> that's plus two terrain. Can the tanks get concealment? <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> yeah, I've been trying. I've been spotting your <coughs> tank. You've never tried to spot me. Never. Yeah. Let's see. Well, it will be on the play aid, which says modifiers. Versus AFE. Yes, you can be concealed, I think. I've been, I mean, I've been spotting your guy over there trying. Yeah. It's very hard. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure you can. So I, well, spot it. I like it. So we'll just try to okay. shoot the tank. There's so the no, M4, the M8. Yeah, we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna shoot the Sherman, the M4. Okay. There's no reason not to. It's the same to hit values. And the to hit is the difficult part. So I will attempt to hit. And just as a reminder, I am concealed and the woods. So that's a plus four to whatever yes. my, right? I believe that that is the case. This is an ordnance attack. Just TH on modifiers. No, 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 no. Yeah, so terrain is two. Target concealed to. So yeah, it's plus four. So I gotta roll a three on two d six to hit you. Never know. You never know. You never know. So let's let's do it. Come on. Is it possible? It is possible. It does not happen. Okay. How long have we got? Okay. All right. So before we go, I'm going to try to spot you there. Okay. I just have to discard a card, correct? Yes. I'll discard that one. So I have to roll like a, a ridiculously low this number. This guy hit uh, that you have to roll a three or less. So I am spotted. Here you go. Spotted. That was a leader action. Yep. <sighs> Pooper scoopers. Man, it's just really hard to get. Because if he attacks again, he's going to be uh, just too fatigued, right? Well, because he's got two on him, right? Yeah. So if he attacks again, he he's won't negative. turn negatives yeah. already. Yeah. Is there a limit to how much fatigue you can get? I think I'm just gonna. I'm gonna move these guys. So they're now getting really fatigued. <laughs> <laughs> and they're moving. Okay. And I already did my leader roll, so I'm done. I'll draw two cards, and my turn is over. Um, I will do a, uh, I'm going to do a sniper on this sector here. Okay. Um, okay. So 
we will go. So, these dudes. Odds and evens. It is odds. So we will target the bazooka team. So we're doing 2d6 plus 1. And there's no cover bonus. Oh, come on. Why do I roll so bad with those? It's a, it's a 5. So you have to make a d6 roll. Oh, with that, you do get the cover. Oh, you don't have one. Okay, yeah. So I, st I still make it, so you have to make a morale check. just plus a D one. 1d6? Yes, I get 2d6 because it's a sniper. Okay. You get 1d6 defensive, so now you've got to make a morale check. It's 2d6 plus 1 for the difference between the two. 6, six 7, great. So, so you fail, so you become shaken. What does my, what does my leader do? Nothing, because I'm targeting these guys. Okay. Shaking markers are. No, they're stacked together, right? Yeah, they're all on the same spot. I think you can. Uh, I mean, to me, that's a that's a, like a yeah an enforce always enforce ability when they're yeah, together. Yeah, they're stacked. That's the important. Not like who. Well, I'm not stacked. shaking. So it's a, it's evens, yeah. right? You roll the six. Yeah. So you're fine. And then we figure out what happens to the sniper. Oh, what? So he, he dies. dies. Uh, so he's removed from, there was some other, let me just read what it said. German morale suffers, everybody mm -hmm. takes two If the two sniper is removed from the game, add a blank card with a one pip icon to the discard pile. This is an oh. additional card included with the core game. The blank card is used to determine the future D6 result. Maybe discarded to be used as, okay. Oh, maybe that's that one that you start the game with. Oops. It's in there then. It's in there now. Yeah. Oops. <laughs> oh well. Oh, that's nice. Well, I think there might only be one in the deck. Got it. So I think that's done with. Okay. Yay. So that was my turn. Okay. So these guys move. Oh, perfect. Into a stone building. That's pretty good. All right, man, I need some recover. Is it not recording or no, something? It's fine. Okay, you looked at it like, oh I'm no. Just, I'm just checking. <laughs> uh, you know what? This M4 is going to attack there. So he gets too fatigue. Okay. So he's one, three. So he's now on his. So you're shooting your machine guns? Yep. So you just the six. Okay. Do I do 2d6 or 1d6? It's just 1d6. 1d6. Dude. Oh, come on. <laughs> so now you have to... And I am a 3. <laughs> I don't think I can no, you survive can. this. Yeah. No, because I think if I take a wound, I'm dead. Okay. You're so I'm a 7 12. against a 12. So the difference between those two is 5. five. I have to make 2d6 plus 5 less than 4. It's not possible. Yeah. But you want to pull the cards yeah. anyway. We legally have to. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm dead. Because I would take another yeah. loss. And I'm toast. And there was much cheering. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Any leader. Oh, he should have untapped. Yes. Oh, man. Nope. I guess I'm good. Smoke me though. <sighs> I still have to kill all those guys and somehow get in the crossroads. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm running, I'm, I'm I'm making progress. Out, I'm running out of assets at this point. Yeah, I'm kind of grinding myself into dust too. Yeah. It's, we're, we're now getting to <laughs> not good card territory as well. <laughs> Uh, um, yeah, this is, so I'm just going to take it all ready action to remove the fatigue, <laughs> and that's what I'm doing. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just remove one of his fatigue, so that's just on him, so it does, I don't get the, no. the bonus of... 
And that's just a yeah, it's a discard because he doesn't yeah. have the ready right. symbol on himself. Um, Bummer. You're already spotted. And I feel like I want. I want to try to rally him with this leader. For free, right? Okay. So. So you need. It's 2d6 and you need a 7 or less. Yeah. That was close. Alright, that's it. That's it? <clears throat> I am going to. <laughs> Um, I'm going to discard my whole hand. Okay. It's my once a game, actually. One, two, three, four. Yeah, you can do that once a game, right? Yep. I can't do that again. Can't do it again. All right. So what do I want to do here, Alexander? T tell me what I should do. Uh, you play my hand. You need to kill the Germans. I know. And maybe unfatigue you guys. And I'm really <laughs> very, very fatigued. Because, yeah, we, we're halfway to getting the free fatigue reductions. That's a long way away. Right. All right, so I'm gonna do this one. So I'm gonna unfatigue him. Yep. And then I... Do not unfatigue course, another guy. I, I think I've done that once. <laughs> it's, it's great when it happens. Okay, this leader. Um, man. That's it, I'm done. Just draw a card. Okay, I'm going to take a recon action to spot here. Okay. So I need a two or less. Is this blocking terrain as well? Uh, it is a stone building, I think. Yeah, it is. Okay, so it's the same thing. So we'll do the two or less here. Come on. 45. It's a three. Okay. You fail. Um, yeah, that's what we're doing. All right, so I think I'm going to fire. Go for it. When you say that, it makes me nervous. Yeah. I just it's it's just so hard to hit those guys. I feel like I'm spotted, and there's only a one yeah. defensive terrain. So I, I'm going to attack here, right? So I'm going to do well. And you're still attacking on the yellow section. Yeah, it, it, everybody. Why am I still attacking on the yellow section? Because we're three spaces away. So if I have to, be, I have to be two spaces yeah, or what, less. Yeah, it. one or two is red. Three, four, right. five is yellow. Okay, six plus is white. So he gets a second and. Uh, and so they have to attack separate targets. Right. For whatever so reason. this guy is better against you, right? Uh, Yes. He's got a better penetration value. So, Although he's got a lower to hit, which is funny. Yeah. So he's a uh, six, right? Yeah. So I, is it 2d6 or 1d6 six. to determine? So it's 2d6 and you need to get a six or less. So he misses. Yes. And then this guy is... So he, who's he going to attack? Um, I don't really know. That's blocking. Yep. So I, I don't think I can fire anybody, can't can I? shoot those guys. But it's blocking. Yeah, yeah, so you can't shoot those yeah, guys. Yeah, so I'll just, I'll not attack with him. I Don't put that back, sorry. That was a little bit of a cheat. <clears throat> um, what the heck can this guy do? Um, His leader ability is garbage. Yeah, he's a spotter, or he can re-roll. Which, which is good, but it has to be in. I should have yeah. put him with some of these other. Yeah, it's fine. It's good. I just draw a card. So it's your turn. Yes. It that is. was a complete waste of a turn. Awesome. <coughs> I will attack. <clears throat> So we are going to attack. We're going to shoot this Sherman. Okay, so I have a four total bonus. You haven't spotted me on a Minna Woods. Yes, that's why I was attempting to spot earlier. But we're just going to attack and we're going to hope for the best. So we've got a six plus four is ten. That's not enough to hit. It's it's hard to hit with these, isn't it? Well, when you're in, when you're in the beefy terrain, everyone's concealed. Yeah. Your turn. Okay. When you're in the beefy terrain, you said it. Um. Damn it. So this assault, I would move into the wood building. 
yet I could still fire, correct? You would you would be marked with move markers. Right. And you would shoot. And then on your next turn you would move into the wood building. That's gonna get me two. Where you will have to make bog checks. Yeah. It's gonna be real fun. <laughs> gonna be real fun. Hold on. Here's my bazooka. I gotta get him over there. I, just, I can't. They're so beat up. Okay, what am I gonna do here? Alright, I think I'm just doing a discard to get rid of... Right? Just one of these? Yep. That's it. That's, that's so painful. <laughs> that doesn't feel good at no, all. No, it doesn't. Alright. I realize what I should have done last time, but I was a moron, and that's okay. Uh, Surrendered? No. Is that what maybe should have happened? I think I'm going to... Should I play with my cards facing you? Would that help? <laughs> what you going to do there, Alexander? Yeah, not, not a lot, that's for sure. Um, I am going to... <clears throat> Not do that. <clears throat> yeah. It's, all the leaders died, so they've got no direction. The Lieutenant Werner. Yeah, he's uh he's looking the other way though. He doesn't know what he's doing. Yeah. Very his binoculars are yeah, his bi glued to his eyes. His binoculars, yeah. He's trying to pull them off. Yeah, he's, he's been distracted. I think I'm just going to... What's he out? I, I'm Honestly, I might do. When you're shaking, you can't move, right? That's correct. So I think I'm going to move. Uh, that's what I'm doing. No, I would not do that. <laughs> I'm just discarding a card. That's what I'm doing. I've not. Li I'm literally not doing anything. All right. Or I'll do it in terrain movement. Maybe. Not. No. No. Yes. All right. I'm firing on you. No. I'm. I'm oh come on! That's fine. I'll do it in terrain move. That's fine. I think they can do it, right? Yeah, sure they can. That, well, I. Where's the theory? Is this the right move? Yeah. I'm just moving within my own sector. Here, let me right. get this back. That's what I'm doing. You're spotted still, right? Yes. All right, so I'm going to attack you. Okay. All right, so both these guys, I'm, I'm going to fire with this guy first. He's my best guy. So, yeah, only one of them can attack. Right, well, the other can attack over there, right? Sure. I mean, pretty, pretty minimal, but it is what it is. Yes. Um, okay, so he's a six. Yes. Here, I need to pull... Is it 1d6? Uh, no, it's 2d6, 2D6. and you've got to get a 6 or less. i got to get a 6 or less? Yes. You're moving. Yes. Well, that's your core to hit. Yeah, that's not, that's not going to do it. I'm moving, so that, yeah, that's like minus 1 to a 9. But that's that's it. So in this that's gonna that's gonna ring again. My bullet triggers get going low. So okay, well we can take a pause and do something. All right, else. so I missed. Now this guy is gonna fire over here. You can shoot us with machine guns. Yeah, he's gonna. So he's a six. I'm pulling. So he only he only pulls one. Oh jeez. Six plus one is a seven, and I'm a three, four, five for being concealed. Plus four is nine. So it, uh, I pulled my car, that was a complete waste of time. And they all got fatigued. Yep. So I am, one one of these days, I'm going to remember to use my cards properly. Maybe. So I'm going to finish my insect move, okay. where I can try to change terrains, and I will reject that terrain, I do not want to do it. <clears throat> so you can do that? If it's within the sector, okay. you can just be like, yeah, I'm not, not doing that. Okay. Um, cool. That's pretty dumb. Um, yeah, this is, uh, <laughs> this is so tough. 
If only. supposed to be discarded. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm, uh, can you do it? You can just throw a card away. Feels real bad. Discard a card from your hand to execute an action from a printed action icon listed on a unit's action list. So you can always just ditch a card to do one of the things yeah, that's listed. Yeah, that's printed on. So, uh... Which one's better? So I will... I'm going to discard this. And we are going to... Shoot... The... Fun Time Bazooka. I think my pen's a Shrek. This guy, he's going to shoot this tank. Maybe that's a stone. Yeah, four, five, six. Yeah. Uh, genuinely, that's a better shot than this one. Okay, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> uh, was I? Maybe I should, maybe I should spot. Maybe that's what I should do. Before you fire. Yeah. But it's two or less. This is really hard. Yeah, it is. I'll try to spot. I'll try to spot. Okay. Two or less. Nope. I shouldn't have. So you don't get that fatigue then, right? No, that's correct. Spot. I'm just trying to give you a fatigue. I'm just trying to look. That's all so I'm doing. I'm how looking. do I rally my guys when I don't have... I don't have flags. If you don't have flags, if they've got a flag on them... You I don't think any of just... them do. Yeah. Some of the... Do any of the leaders have them? No. Over here, but it's really hard to do. He, he's a he's a ways away. <laughs> yeah, rallying is very difficult. Yeah, very challenging. Well, I'm gonna try to rally this guy. It's two d six, isn't it? Yes, it is. Eight, eight, and you needed a seven. That's a... Okay, that was I had to discard a card. Sorry about that. Ooh. Oh. I want to keep that one. I'm going to discard that one. Okay, so I'm going to do a sniper. Ooh, there was another sniper. I'm going to do a sniper. <clears throat> I'm going to do there. Joel. Just got the one guy there, so you're going to make a 2d6 roll. And I'm looking for... Just a 2d6. That's terrible. Stop. <sighs> that misses, right? No, no, no. That hits. That's, oh, okay. The, I it's have, I. Yeah, I have to roll a defense against okay. that with 1d6. And there's no, uh, there's no conceal right. but there is terrain. I thought terrain didn't work on sniper hits. Yeah, you just were never in any okay. terrain. Okay, that's fine. I've yes. been in open terrain or roads, yes. yep. But yeah, there's no concealment. Though. Okay. But it doesn't make a difference on a seven. So the difference here is five. Yep. So I've got to roll a morale check. 2d6 plus five. <laughs> Six, seven, 12, so you... 12, so I double, so I'm going to be uh, half squad and... Shaken. Yeah, so I'm half SS squad and I'm shaken. Great! And looking at those cards, how did that change his attack? Uh, so he went from a 2-5 two two to a one, 1. But his morale didn't change. No. Interesting. Uh, he did lose some capabilities, though. So he Got now it. can't spot... Some of his, his icons uh, are different. Yeah, his concealment's worse. His melee doesn't have an extra bonus on it, and he can't rally. Okay. Uh, so I'll, I'm done. I draw my two cards. As well. <sighs> so I could try to rally that guy to get him unshaken. So I would attempt to do so. And I'm going to draw two cards, and i got to get a six or less. Which I do, so he's not shaken anymore. Yeah, you do it every time. I, I do it with crap. panache also. Uh, so I will draw a card when I'm done. So this guy re. I'm going to do a spot with Lieutenant Seawood. <clears throat> I'll just go ahead and do this one. So I have to roll it. Is it a two? Are they against these guys? Yeah. Yep. Oh, a one. A one. So I am spotted. All right. So then I will do. 
So yeah, here's the question. I think it would be better for me just to fire this tank. Like machine guns? Yeah. Because I can't do a fire group that's going to do anything better than... Probably, These guys just aren't not. that yeah, no. good. So I'll just fire the tank. So here's a... Boop. So I'm a six. Yes. Uh, you're spotted. So I'm just a three. I don't have any other... Well, this is going to end. Six plus one is two. So that's you, it's just one for those. And my defensive roll... So that's an eight. Six yes. plus two is eight. And I rolled a four. So I'm going to have to make a defensive roll against four. Okay. So I'm going to reshuffle these. <clears throat> four, 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 four. Remember that. So we're going to do, so I've got to make a 2d6 roll check, plus 4. Yeah, that's grim. So I'm a 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13. I'm dead. Because you're double. Yeah. Oh, e e yeah. I, I get shaken and then I get shaken. Okay. So I'm dead. Those two stay there. And it's, I already did my leader action. Yeah. So I get to draw two cards and then we have the end of turn. Yes. So now we are currently into turn three. Turn three. And this is a four turn scenario. Yep. Which is, is this one's fairly big as well. Yeah, there's a lot of units. <clears throat> okay. So don't, don't we get... So yes, uh, end of was turn... Was it one or was it... Two? Yeah, everyone reduces a, a fatigue by one. Remove all spotted markers. <laughs> After I just did that. <coughs> I'll let it dead anyway. Okay. So, yeah. Uh, removal spotted markers. Da, 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 Anything da, da. happened to Shaken? Any units that are spent are now readied. So this guy would be ready. Uh, units may reduce fatigue by one level. Any blaze markers? No. Smoke? No. Update oh, term in there. That's my to Shaken. Stay okay. around here. And it is my turn. <clears throat> At which point I will shoot with my tank, I suppose. It's so it's such bad odds, but so if I shoot, I need a three on two d six. I spot, I need a 2 on 1d6. That's better. So we are going to spot these guys. Okay. Which I do. That's very nice. <clears throat> and it's your turn. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and artillery strike you. So I. Okay, I'm on the 6 column. Indeed. So then I do 2d6. Two six. So a 6. A 6, and it goes against my flank armor. So I have a total of a 12. Oh, right, because I have the 6. Yeah. Oh, it's only it's only one it's only one d6. This isn't an armor attack. So which one's the first card? Uh well, I can't remember, but I guess I'll I, I don't know. Yeah. I really don't remember. So it's ten anyway, and I'm a five. So <coughs> I now have to make a ch ch check. So I'm <laughs> six, seven. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> uh, eight plus. <clears throat> I think it was four. It's twelve. I think I'm gonna my. Let's see what happens to the crew. It's not good. Yeah. Um, Usually when a tank gets a direct hit with artillery. If the crew of an AFE is unbuttoned and fails a damage check, it is shaken. If the crew of an AFE is shaken and unbuttoned and failing... Okay, so I just... I get They just get shaken, so okay. they, can't, they can't do any attacks. Which sucks, because that's what I was going to do with them. All right. So <coughs> I am done. I could do... But yes, if they get shaken again... If then right. they would abandon the vehicle. I'm going to do a spot there, so I need a two. Nope, miss. Okay. So that's it. I draw a card. 
Uh, all right. So I have to try and rally that guy. So I'm just gonna try to rally him with 2d6. And I do. He is not shaking anymore. Every time. <laughs> Hilarious. I'm done. Okay, so he, I'm gonna spot again, which I probably can't hit. That's a three. Are you, who, you trying to spot this guy? Yeah. Yep, that succeeds because I am only yep. in, in one degrading terrain. terrain. Yep. Okay. And then I'm going to think I'm going to move. I don't know where a move marker is. So. The one guy or both of them? Both I'm going to move both. Okay, okay that's it. Um, I will attempt to shoot the Sherman. Okay. That's what we're going to do. So. so I'm going to throw a two <clears throat> defense down. That's fine. Uh, so it's four total. Great. That's what I need. I can't add anything to it, so we're going to go two. Nice. And six. No, that's a miss. Okay. Then he gets so they move successfully without being smoked. Thank you. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and so I'm no longer spotted. Right. Yeah. So then I'm gonna rally them. So I'll pull hey a three. So he goes down to a one. Pull the three. Right? So I played that. Oh, oh, re ready. Yep. Yes. Ready, ready yes. sorry. Ready. ready. Yep, yep. Took one <laughs> off and then pulled the three to get a second. Yes. And then I want to... I'm going to go ahead and spot the guys in the building there. Nope. Your turn. <clears throat> um, I will attempt to... Shoot! Wood building. Three. That's fine. Well, it doesn't matter. We're going to change our cover dark before we fire. And we are going to shoot. So we're going to shoot the Sherman okay. in the side. Still need to roll a four. <laughs> so because you're a three, four, five. I'm not spotted. I'm spotted, right? Yeah. Well, I'm not spotted, so I'm a three, four, five plus my two flank. Well, the, no, that's that's, in the that's roll. for penetration. Yeah. yeah. So I've got to roll very low, which I do not do. Okay. God. So do, one time I can change my fire arc. So before you fire, you can kind of swivel basically. And it's just the turret, right? Mm. Well, no. So this is this is kind of changing your actual facing because these are turreted. They can always shoot 360. Okay. But the cover arc is an indication of which way your hull is facing. Okay. So if you were to shoot a bazooka this way, you'll go into my flank armor now. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't have that. It's just a free thing before you shoot. That's yeah. All. all right, well, I'm going to shoot on your... So I need a one and a two. So I think this one would be better. All right, dang it. I'm just a, a three, right? What are we shooting? Well, I'm going for this. So are you going to turn or no? I thought that... I thought the turret, the gyro. Yes, but it's, do you want to present your front armor this way or this way? So that I can get shot by the anti-tank gun. It's going to happen yeah. either way. I, I know. <clears throat> um, I'm hoping to maybe damage you, but... Nope, I'm not turning. Just okay. going to fire. 
So, yes, he's shooting there, so you're gonna, this is two spaces away, so you need to roll an eight or less. I swear, every freaking time. Stupid. Okay, so this guy will shoot the anti-tank gun. Okay. So that's a... Uh... You're gonna roll like six with one, just one card. Okay. Because it's just your machine guns. Okay. So you're a six, ten, and I'm a four, five, six... Seven. So I'm gonna make a check. Two D six plus three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I become shaken. Okay, <laughs> so maybe I wanna do one of my I can't do anything else, can I? Really need better leaders. <laughs> So I just get one card. Okay. I am going to attempt to shoot. It, does, it doesn't matter. It's a rule. It doesn't matter. I'm <coughs> shooting the Sherman. Okay. No. Because he'll be. Uh, yeah, I'll shoot the show. Sorry, why not? We're doing it with the tank. Roll low. That's low. That is also low. That's what I needed. So that's a nine to hit. And so then penetration is six plus one is seven. So you've got a two plus a d6. Oh, I still fail. Okay. So then you make an. Oh. Do you just die? Do you armor what, so why do I die when you never die? Because you haven't hit me with your armor piercing rounds. You'll shoot me with your HG rounds with artillery. But this one I hit you with my HG. Yeah. So you, and you, I didn't kill you. No. I'm shooting you with armor piercing rounds into a tank. Okay. Oh. It goes in, blows up. You're shooting me with... This stuff, it just sh it shakes the crew. It's okay. not going to damage the tank. Uh, if your armor check is less than the penetration, the target's destroyed, yeah. So he blows up. Okay. spot guys in the church or whatever. Okay. Nope. Hmm. <laughs> I'll go ahead and do that. I don't think you can spot the guys in the church anyway, so you can take your card back. There's, okay. there's blocking terrain in front of them. You don't have line of sight to them. Okay. Um, four or five. But how did I get more than... The card, did I just pick up a card I shouldn't have? Maybe. Yeah, I think I did. Okay, so what did I do? So I have to pick a card to see if it's going to be... So it's an even. So I don't get a... That's it. Okay. I can't remember what this one is. <clears throat> um, I now have to change the tank. So I'm going to play... A sniper card. <clears throat> Here. So we'll do odds and evens. It is evens. So I've got 2d6 plus 1 against this snake. 7. So you're going to make it 1d6 plus 4. <laughs> okay, great. Uh, and then the sniper card. We're going to roll to see what happens to him. 
Uh, I think he's dead. I think he's out of the game. On a one or a two, right? I don't remember. Probably. Yeah, it was. And I think. But there's not more of those. Yep, he's gone. So that is gone, gone. Um, I'm done. Okay. Uh, man, I'm not getting the cards I need at all. <laughs> So I'll do an assault, I guess. So they're moving. And I just get to fire right from this spot? Yes. Um, which you don't have any line of sight. Okay, I'm just moving then. They so you can't use an assault can to move. You have to be able to fire with it. Okay. That comes off, that comes off. The rally is... What again? Waggy wag? Yeah, what is it? What exactly does it do? I'm just forgetting. You have to roll under your morale to become unshaken. Okay. That's it, just under the morale? Yeah. Alright, so I'll do a... Who cares? Sure. Yay. It's 2d6. Oh, well. Done. I will attempt to spot here, which I successfully do. And done. So I'm going to pivot this way, I guess. Okay. Yeah, this is impossible to... So I'll do a, an attack. Okay. So... So I'm going to put a defense on okay. myself. So you would be a three. I have to draw... That's Yeah, you've got to roll under an eight plus three. So you, you do it. So you hit, yep. and then you have to roll a penetration check, which is a d6 plus three. Five. Five. My front armor is a four, plus four is eight. Attempt to rally my 50 millimeter anti-tank gun, which I successfully do. You are hilarious tonight. <laughs> Every rally you've ever tried, I think, has succeeded. Okay. So I have this card, which is the move into combat. Yeah, move into melee or overrun. Overrun is vehicle melee, basically. But I, I'm not sure why that would be better than what I've just got. I just don't remember the... I know the melee rules, but not the overrun. We haven't done that. Yeah. This is overruns or attacks conducted by AFEs where they drive their AFE into, through, or over their intended target using all available weaponry to win. Only AFEs may do overrun. Once the melee overrun is initiated, the units ordered mark them with the marker. Great. <clears throat> oh, let's have a look back here now. 8.6, 7.10, and 11. Um, 8.6. Six was not helpful. Seven point ten. Yeah, and eleven. Okay, seven point ten and eleven. Seven point ten. There we go. Okay, it's 
very much the same as melee. Um, except you. AFEs may not overrun targets in blocking terrain. Degrading. Degrading's fine. Not blocking them. Overruns in degrading terrain are allowed. So you can't do it into the church, but you can do it into here. Each weapon resolution it says you use all your weapons. Yes, I, I. So it's like all my machine guns and. It's every yeah, and and your HE value. So or, I, I outclass you, I think, right? Again, well, what are you trying against? What? Well, if I run in against this guy. So machine guns don't do anything against each other because we're AFE units. We're just going to shoot each other with our armor piercing. Okay. So it doesn't make any sense that I'm way lower than you. Yeah, I don't. I don't think you would want to do that. All right, I'm just gonna move these guys. <clears throat> I I don't know that I can win this. I can't get my guys up. I really haven't drawn drawn many moves. I am going to discard a card. In order to remove one fatigue, and that's all I'm doing. So these guys finish moving? Yeah, they need to I need to throw a Oh, clear, perfect. I don't think I have a card that matches anything. I can just discard one, right? Yeah, or oh, you can always use discard a card to trigger one of the icons. Yeah, but I, I have to have the... Yeah, but... Alright, I guess I'll just do the... I'll do a fire. Okay. I'm gonna miss. <clears throat> I'm, I mean, my guy's just so bad. He's just never gonna hit. Is it 2d6? Yes, 2d6. I rolled a 2. So you hit. Right, but I'm not so going to Now you're going to penetrate, so it's d6 plus 3. 4. Yeah, I, I have a 4 front defense. Okay. Um, Alright, I'm done. So I will attempt to shoot you back with that icon. So I need a nine or less, <clears throat> which I do not successfully do. I guess I will. I'll do this. Hey. It's a six. So I do one d six. Yes, one d six plus, plus the six. six. Seven and I'm a three. Four, five, six, seven. So it's even odds. So we're fine. Hmm. Discard a card to shoot the anti tank gun at the enemy. So I'm a four because of this yeah. wreck, also. I so. Yeah, my mess. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to recover. I'm going to do one and then pull. 
Hey. So recover one. That's it. I want a spot. No. I'm done. I will ditch a card to recover a fatigue. Fire with the Panzer IV on your Greyhound. So we need. Hilarious that they're slugging it out. Not, not happening. Oh, yeah, I can't, I can't shoot the freaking armored car through the building. All right. <coughs> um, um, I'm back up to two fatigue. <laughs> What'd you say? I'm just back up to two fatigue. Oh. I'll just do a. Rally and I'll not rally or recover. Nope, no secondary benefit. I will do that. I'm done. So, can I use the grenade to assault into the bocage? Yes, because you can move and then and attack. then fire. Yes. Okay, so I'll do that. <clears throat> uh, I gotta do a bog check. Well, let, let, let me let me let me check because you make the shot from where you are, which is which would not be possible. But that isn't really. What a, Assault. Assault actions allow to use a cut to move and a fire action. Within the same level. The units conducting the assault fast. Marked of move. All units conducting the same assault must move together in the same direction after being marked as moved along with any covered arc changes. They may then fire at any eligible targets within range and line of sight. So no. So can I just move the guys? Not with an assault icon. Why? Because you have to be able to, you mark them with moves, and then you have to be able to shoot to do the assault. But where does it where does it say it has to be everybody in the space? It doesn't have to be everyone in the space, but they they all so have I, they have to be able to attack. So these guys can move in here and they can attack. But they don't move in here until your next turn. You resolve the attack now, okay. and there's no one in line of sight. I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna concede because I I can't draw cards <clears throat> that I need. At all. I'm happy to accept your concession. I just can't do anything. So I think I think we've shown yeah, right, what it can do. Yeah, well, and I think it also shows that this is also a game of, you know, it's a tactical game, but it's also a game against the clock. Oh, yeah. Because yeah. we've got to get through a whole other deck, but I think we've gone through this very quickly. Um, and you've... You could do it, but it's going to be a long time, and it'll be very hard pressed. I think the, I, I did some real bad setup. Well, and we once learned. again we we, we played that other game, and I, I would have spread my anti tank stuff out quite a bit more. I would have probably put my but, leaders in different spots. Yeah, uh, I also wouldn't have put blocking terrain in front of my anti tank. That right. was, I was not thinking that through. But yeah. It's just really challenging to hit those AFVs and penetrate the armor. It's just really, really challenging. Yeah, it was. It, and, and I find it funny that you are literally almost in the open, and I cannot hit you. Yeah, that was. And I just, a I don't look. I don't understand it. Uh, what a jam! So that was that was a four turn game. Yeah, and uh, we only got through three most turns. Most games, I'm gonna say, I'm just looking through here. It's a lot of two turn games. Uh, the one we played this earlier tonight bit, was this two turns. A bit longer, three turns. Oh, uh, four turns long. Yeah, a lot of three turns. The other four interesting, turns. the other interesting thing I think about this game strategically, when you have this many units, you cannot afford to spread your movements out and 
Yeah. You, you, you've got to focus, just like I did, you've got to focus on two or three stacks. Yeah. Because there are not enough moves in here for you to consistently no. expect to get them. So you've really got to, kind of like I did, but it, unfortunately it just didn't. You either got really fortunate on your rolls to hit my tanks. Which I definitely or did. Or I really got bad rolls. Because I don't think I ever hit <laughs> one of your tanks. No. It's, Other than with artillery. Yeah, you shaking the crew, but then I was miraculously able to rally them. Right. The, uh, the, yeah, so this is also, so this is a four turn scenario, which yeah. is one of, if not the longest scenario sure. types. So that's that's also part of it. But that, what I'm saying is, you can't really afford to move more than three different areas of units. You just don't have the movement cards. Yeah, the the, the race against the clock means yeah. that some guys will be sat back. Yeah. Just like maybe these guys have never, fire. they've never, yeah, these guys have never been involved in any of this. But considering how many guys you started with, a lot of guys did something. Maybe. Yeah. No, I I made some good so. progress. I just. Yeah, I don't know. And I put my tanks together thinking that would be... I was thinking the fire group rule was different, so I would have done yeah, that. Yeah, no, that was very I would have probably spread those and, and out. And I'm sure there's umpteen million mistakes that we made in oh, there. Oh, yeah. But, you know, that's what you get with the players. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and I'm also looking at the satchel charges. I'm, I'm not sure how great they are. you got to run in on melee. Yeah. That guy gives you six melee attacks. Yeah, yeah. I guess that's... that's that. That's the bonus, right? Yeah. We didn't do any melees in this. Just have no idea how you're going to get up there. <laughs> yeah, with with melees, you roll a number of cards right. equal to your total combat value, and you hit on a four plus number. So yeah, that's a massive multiplier in that. Yeah. But that's all getting him that's up four. there. Does, what else does he say? One use. No, and then you're from the game. Using melee only roll for blaze after use. That's pretty, that's pretty cool though. Yeah, but you know, you you've got to use yeah. it. Yeah. Well. That was a game of point blank. It it's a really, long. it's a really cool game. <laughs> thanks, for, I, thanks for sticking with us. <laughs> yeah, I, I actually really enjoy the quicker scenarios because I feel like it's a little more hard hitting, and yeah, I it, feel it's, like, like kind of in it and going. Yeah, and I felt like, like this one kind of drug. It was big. That, that was that was <laughs> easily the biggest game of this we've ever played. Yeah, and, and, and the, drug that's only. The, that's the second one in the book. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I also, and we have the same experience with, say, Combat Commander, where you're using the cards as your dice. I like that. I really do. Because yeah. it's a closed system. It really takes out some of the randomness in some ways. But it, and they, I, I don't know. They give you dice, and you could use them without use it. That. But I think that then, I think you destroy a system that's what it built is. on this internal engine yeah. when people do that. I know people do it, but it's, yeah. I like to do it with the closed system if it's been designed and built with one because I feel like that's they've tried to balance it with that yeah. in a way. But a very cool game. I also still want to know what fast means. I'm Yeah. Because that's got to mean I don't know movement. if there's not a li list of any of this stuff of those that I can see. And I'm pretty sure I feel like I... In the tutorials by a Gimpy Gamer, they were like, "Yeah, these are mm -hmm. these are reference for future things." Got it. Maybe a future expansion. I, I feel like I read that. I, I could be wrong. Sure, but uh, I'm pretty sure that's the case. Yeah. But yeah, that was a playthrough of Point Blank. Appreciate you very much for sticking with us. I've been Alexander from theplayersaid.com, and I'm Grant. <laughs>